They're strength in the sanctuary. Come on. Come on. There's strength in the sanctuary. Come on. There's strength here. Oh, 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 I'm on Zion, yeah. There's strength in the sanctuary. There's strength in the sanctuary. Come on, Zion, come on. Open your heart and worship him. Get this download from heaven. It's not coming from Pastor Lamar, it's straight from God. Open your spirit to this encounter now. Oh, receive the glory of the Lord. Receive the glory of the Lord. Hey, I your most, yeah. Glory rest on your people now, God. Glory rest on your people now, God. Some of you need another level of strength. You've been getting a little weary. You've been getting a little worn down. I dare you to get to this altar and say, Holy Ghost, strengthen me. Hey, hold me up, Realign me with your will. Edible I've been worrying too much. God, speak to me. Give me direction. Let me in your presence. Come on, seek him. Go after him. Let the tears flow. Cry like you're hungry. Cry like you're thirsty. I need, I need. Come on, Zion. There's a glory in this house. Come on, Zion. Travail, children. Strength is in the room. Come on, cry out to the Lord. Cry out to the Lord. You've been marked since you were a child. I've called you to the forefront. I've called you for a time such as this. But you gotta give him a complete yes. I know what you saw in your dreams and I'm gonna take you there. I'm gonna get you there, son. Come on, intercessors and travailers. Release down of crying. There's strength in here. Strength and strategy is in here. Come on, church. Travail in the spirit. If you don't know what to say, say, Lord, help me now. Pour your spirit on me. Strength and strategies in here. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Ooh. There's strength in here to stop contemplating and just do it. There's a spirit in here that's pulling the brakes off of you. It's time to go forward. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. He said, tell my daughter that I'm going to restore to her the years she's sown in tears. I'm hearing a conversation you're having with God. You're in your bedroom and you're literally saying, I'm tired of crying about this, crying over this. God, you got to help me. Ah! And 
today he gives you strength and strategy. He takes that yoke, he said, give it to me. And he said, now take my yoke because it's easy. He said, remind her, I told her I'd never leave her. And I told her if she'll come back to serving me like she used to. It's in you, yes. Yes, yes. You will not walk out here the same. You're going to get your holy boldness back too. And the Holy Ghost touched your self-esteem. The devil planted some people in your life that made you second guess yourself. And I undo the workings. And I remind you that you are beautifully and wonderfully made by the hand of God. Come on Zion, let me hear you cry out of your soul. Uh, ah. He said, but I'm taking the strength out of defeat. They're marked. I had their hand on them. I had my hand on them. He told that on them I was shy. Get on the most shy. Get on the most shy. And he takes the weight off of you now. He takes the weight off of you now. Hey, oh, oh. You've been carrying everybody. He said, I'm going to start raising up people right around you to start carrying you. There's an, there's an exchange now. There's a shifting now. Come on, somebody release a cry unto the Lord. Come on, I had a message prepared, but God want to talk to you directly. We've got an encounter with the Lord. We just got to go with him today. Come on, somebody release a cry. Oh, yeah. Come on, men, let me hear some we weeping, lamenting men, howling in the spirit, moanings and groanings that cannot be uttered. There's strength in here. If you're weak, you better make your way up here. There's an anointing. There's an anointing. Come get it, come get it. There's an anointing. This is the time, this is the time. He, there's an anointing in here for the weary worker. Get it, get it, get it. Get out of our satan. Not total boy. Therefore, there's no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Let me tell you something. I've been pastoring you for some years now. And you got to let yourself go from your mistakes. You've got to let yourself go. I forgive you. Let you release yourself. Let yourself go. You more saved than you know. 
God's been moving in your life. Let you, you gotta release yourself. You gotta release yourself. It's no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. You haven't made all the right decisions, but God, you have made progress. Yes, you have. Yes, you have. Yes, you, we can see it on you. Yes, you have. The problem is the people in your life don't see you the way God sees you. Yes, you have. Yeah, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. That's it. Help a birth it out, mother. That was for somebody else too. Whoever it was, lift your hands and get it. See, because when you don't release yourself from it, you commit yourself to still being that. Therefore, there's no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. We need an encounter with them. Chris, song, the song I wrote years ago, I don't remember, uh, I don't know what we call it. It's the let me in, let me in your presence, let me see your face. Here's what's going on right now in the spirit. This is a spiritual manifestation of what I was going to preach. And I love when the presence preaches. Most people don't understand this because they want the program. Choirs sing two songs, they do the announcements, the preacher get up, preach. And I go, but listen, in this hour, you don't understand the type of enemy we have. You need divine interruptions. Because every day the enemy has a plan to pull you further and further away from the will of God. And in these moments, divine strategy. The reason I push you to worship and open your heart, the reason I push you to stop holding back tears is because as you allow yourself to fully be present in the moment, be present in the moment, be naked to God in the moment, he already knows it's there. See, we want him to deal with it. You know it's there. And he's saying, bring it to me because I can't heal what you won't reveal I'm a gentleman open it up to me and say you can have it and these type of encounters when you worship you'll have an encounter with the presence of God and then you will become what you behold the scripture talks about the people of God coming out of basically a church service and it said that the glory of God was on their countenance Look at your neighbor and say, I see God on you. Mm -hmm. Lift your hands and worship in here a little. Let me in, let me in, let me in your presence. Let me in, let me in, let me see your face, Lord. Let me in, let me in, let me in your presence. Let me in, let me in, let me see your face. Come on, tell him, Lord. Let me in, let me in, let me in your face. Yes, yes, God is here. Let me in, let me in, let me see your face. Let me in, let me in, let me in your presence. Just ask him, ask him for me. Let me in your presence. Lord. Let me in, let me in. Let me see let your face. Let me see your face. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in Come on. your presence. Let me see your face.
spiritual impartation that's what it is doesn't mean you got to fall out you got to shake you got to do that's what is sometime it manifests in, in, that, in that way but it's a spiritual impartation and here's why we need moments like this everything else is not working I need something supernatural <laughs> this other stuff I'm trying is not working and there's a deposit that's been happening in this room. In these last few moments, you traveled further in the spirit than if I had preached and hooped to you. Because in the moment of worship, you have an encounter with the presence of God. Let me tell you something about the presence. Once you've been in it, it's hard to not be different once you come out. Because the real thing about the presence is you never have to come out. See, the enemy wants us to believe that there's a great distance between us and God. So he wants to condemn you. Oh, Ronnie, you ain't saved. Because if you wouldn't say, you wouldn't have done such and such. You wouldn't have done such and such. But I need y'all to know the Bible. Would you tell him? Some of that was my flesh. It wasn't me. But I'm learning to put that under subjection. Come on. Some of the stuff we do is the ritual of the flesh. The flesh will always want to do wrong. I tell somebody, I've been regenerated. I've got a renewed nature. And I am not as far away from God as the enemy is trying to make me think. The truth is, I've got to go through a lot of God just to get back to where the enemy want me to go. I don't hear nobody in here. Who shot it? That's, that's been falling real strong. A spirit of condemnation. And I'm not entitling anybody to something. But when you feel something's not working, you stop buying the product. You stop using it. So that's the enemy's assignment. Make you think it's not working. Because ain't nothing happening. Let me tell you something. You can buy Windex. And that thing in that bottle works. But it will not work for you until you use that stuff in the box. You got to use it. That's why you got to use it. And guess what? The cleaner is not the bottle. It's in the vessel. We got Windex in our spirits. It's the spirit of the Holy Ghost. There is therefore no condemnation. Any new believers? This is one of the scriptures you should know. Therefore, there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. That's got to be one of your staples. Now the question is, are you in or are you out? And can I help you? If you're not all in, you are all out. There is no middle. He said you're going to be hot or cold. Lukewarm? I screw you up. My question to you is, are you in or are you out? Do not present to God the case the devil been presenting to you. He's not even interested. That, that's nothing. I handled that on Calvary. You're free from that. Are you in or are you out? Somebody, that, that means to say, Lord, I'm in. I'm in. Come on, come on. I'm in. I'm in. That means I am in his will. I'm in him. Therefore, there's no condemnation. But some of you in here today, I want you to hear me as your 
the pastor, spiritual father. If you're just here visiting, scripture says we have one father but many instructors. Hear me as one of the instructors that God might have put in your life just to set you on a path. We've got to pick a side and stay on it. We can no longer straddle the fence. Tell somebody, you've got to pick a side. Are you in or are you out? Somebody just take a moment and answer God. Answer God. Tell them I want to be in. I want to be all in. Tell them I'm all in. I'm all in. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for your presence in this room. I thank you that not even all in this service, but this entire day, that your spirit will work and deal with your people. I thank you that strategies and decisions and choices are being made clear now clear 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 no more pause no more waiting no more thinking yes to your will yes to your will yes 